I want to thank the organizer uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, to present my recent work here. Uh, so uh, I'm a theorist, uh, and my talk uh, will be about quantum many-body state, uh, especially this quantum spin liquid. So if you are not familiar with this, I will briefly mention uh, about this quantum spin liquid later. And our, uh, so this is a theoretical proposal, and I also uh, introduced some experimental works. And this is the experimental data. Uh, and this is a theoretical proposal. OK, uh, so here is my outline. Uh, so I first give you the motivation of this work. So I give you some review and issues of quantum spin liquid research. Uh, then I'll introduce uh, our strategy to study or to investigate uh, this quantum spin liquid state uh, in quantum magnet. Uh, our story is very simple. Uh, we use topological phase tension, and especially we are going to focus on this magnetic field angle dependence. Uh, then I conclude. OK, so this work is in collaboration with these four people. So three of them are theorists, and he is the uh, Japanese experimentalist uh, who are working on this quantum materials uh, very much. Uh, and if you are interested in uh, this talk, uh, you can look at uh, these two papers. So the first one is a theoretical paper, which I'm going to explain uh, detail uh, today. Uh, the second one is the experiment. Uh, I briefly mentioned about the main result here, no, about this. So uh, people say uh, we are living in quantum era. Uh, and I know I'm supposed to give us some joke, uh, but I'm not good at it. So I just bring this, this one. Uh, so uh, how do I know I'm living in quantum era? Because even uh, in some movies, uh, they use quantum physics to explain some time travel. So uh, then I can see that uh, so everyone, lots of people, uh, are interested in quantum physics. Uh, back to science. Uh, so the, one of the important papers uh, of this quantum era uh, is this one. So this the Google, uh, 2019, uh, they published this work, uh, so-called quantum supremacy. Uh, and even New York Times basically uh, write this article, very nice article. Uh, and if you're interested, in it, you can look at this. I'll not explain this paper. Uh, I'll just summarize this paper uh, with these three facts. Uh, this work uh, is about entanglement of about 50 qubits. So this entanglement of a, about 50 qubits is very nice. Uh, if you think about the, the famous Einstein, Rosen, Podersky paradox, EPR paradox, this EPR paradox is about two qubits. So now, after 100 years later, now we can control uh, 50 qubits, and we can understand uh, entanglement of these 50 qubits, basically. And this work is not about the real materials, so not quantum materials. So it's actually metamaterial, uh, in the sense that they use a superconducting qubits, uh, and they, uh, so this is not a real material. Uh, but my work uh, is basically uh, to search for uh, this interesting state uh, in real material. And they also, uh, so this, the significance of this work is basically they demonstrate uh, this quantum computers can outperform uh, classical computers uh, in, for a specific problem, uh, but still it's very meaningful. Uh, and so we call this is quantum supremacy. So then, after three years, so it was 2019, then after three years, uh, we can ask, where are we? So, uh, so I bring two examples for the cutting edge research in quantum physics. Uh, one of them is, uh, again, from Google team. So they use the superconducting qubit, but in this case, they use 31 uh, qubits, not 50, basically. There's a reason for that. Uh, and what they did is basically they make quantum antibody state with 31 qubit. So this is a qubit basically. Uh, and this many body state is nothing but the uh, ground state of toric code in two dimension. Uh, this is a uh, one type of quantum spin liquid, which I'm going to explain briefly later. Uh, and this work is published last year. Uh, and back to back, there was another work uh, from Harvard group, so completely different platform. Uh, they use readable atoms, 
uh, and they use two, about 200 qubits. And their claim is that basically they're proving topological spin liquids uh, with this uh, quantum simulator. Uh, so this work is also about quantum spin liquid. So then we can say that this quantum spin liquid is a very special type of state, quantum antibody state, and neuralizing it uh, is quite meaningful. And that's the reason why these two groups basically uh, perform this experiment. So then, what is quantum spin liquid? So I can explain this quantum spin liquid for an hour, but since I don't have much time, I just briefly mention some important facts about quantum spin liquid. So this quantum spin liquid state is a many-body state. So we have a qubit, uh, lots of qubits, uh, and then because of this entanglement of this qubit, uh, we have uh, some interesting many-body state. And especially, this state is an insulator. So electrically, it's insulator. So electrons or spins or qubits, they are not moving each other. Uh, they, are not, they are not moving. Okay, so it's a mod insulator with localized spins and qubits. Uh, and we need many spins. We cannot uh, construct this quantum spin liquid ground state with one qubit or two qubit. Basically, we need lots of qubit. And linear material, of course, we have a, a lots of particles, electrons or spins, uh, Avogadro number. Uh, but for the Google team, uh, they use this supernatural qubit, uh, so about 30 qubit uh, they used. And for the Lidibog atom, uh, atomic qubits, uh, 200 qubits are used. And special property of this quantum spin liquid is that spins or qubits, uh, basically they are fractionalized. The excitations become non-local. And this non-local is intrinsically related to the characteristics of quantum entanglement of many body systems. So another way to put is that this quantum spin liquid is one of the most entangled many-body state uh, 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 we know, basically. And that's the reason why these two teams uh, want to do experiment about this quantum spin liquid. So the, one of the messages from these two work is that now with our technology, we can basically manipulate or prepare, control uh, massively entangled many-body states. Okay? Uh, the, right. uh, but still, the number of qubits in these experiments uh, is less than 1,000, of course. Uh, and scale up uh, is very, very difficult uh, for these experiments. So then I can ask uh, this question, probably one of the most important questions in this talk. Uh, can you find a quantum spin liquid state uh, in real materials, say alpha lucidium trichloride? Uh, so this question is quite interesting question because depending on the answer, uh, we can use quantum entanglement of many body systems uh, a lot. Why? Because if it is yes, so suppose this answer is yes, then we have a big advantage of, uh, on the number of qubits. So, we so in real material, we have lots of particles basically, and then if we can find quantum spin liquid state in such a materials, so then we know that the quantum spins are basically entangled. Lots of quantum spins are entangled. Okay. So, right. so then we can compare some advantages and difficulties uh, between metamaterials uh, and real materials. Uh, right. So then there are some controversy issue, issue uh, and intrinsically entangled many qubits. Uh, basically, there are advantages. Uh, and scale ups are difficult from the uh, metamaterials. And linear materials, one of the big issues is the controllability. So, then to find uh, some entangled many body state, uh, we need a target system. Uh, for the target system, we can choose probably the best well known uh, example uh, in condensed matter physics uh, that's the type spin model, one of hexagonal lattice. So 2005, uh, Alexei Kitaev basically published this paper. So he proposed one specific model. So this is a spin model uh, on hexagonal lattice. So at each side, we have a qubit, basically, uh, described by two by two matrices. Uh, and then this spin model, so this sigma is basically power matrices. And I have a Jx, Jy, Jg. And I have a hexagonal lattice. And there are links or bones. Uh, Z, X, Y here, 
And for the X bone, I have uh, this interaction. Y bone, I have this interaction. Z bone, Z, G, G bone, I have this interaction. Okay. So this model is pretty nice. Why? Uh, because we can solve this model exactly. So, uh, yes. I think lots of people are familiar with this work. So uh, it's a type, uh, basically. Uh, right. So he introduced this Majorana representation. Uh, and spins is described by four Majorana fermions. But, but if you think about the degree of freedom, one spin or one qubit have two-dimensional Hilbert space. For my fermion, I have a four-dimensional Hilbert space. So I need to project out my Hilbert space. Is that easier? Yeah, I think this is correct. It's amazing work. Uh, I encourage you to read this paper. So uh, with this representation, uh, this model is exactly solvable. Uh, and one consequence uh, of this exact solvability is that we know eigenvalues and we know eigenstate. And these eigenstates are all described by Majorana fermions. Okay? So we have a qubit system or we have spin system, but excitations are basically described by Majorana fermions. Why? Because this, the ground state of the system is highly entangled. Uh, the, we call this state as a Kitaev quantum spin liquid. Okay. Uh, are, but presumably you have the various spaces. All of them are spin liquid? Yes, all of them are spin liquid with the JX, JY, JG, except a uh, specific point where JX, JY, J. So to, if, if JY is zero, JG is zero, then uh, it becomes very, uh, 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 it's crash crash state basically. Uh, it's highly degenerate. Uh, but if you perturb this slightly, then everywhere is a uh, spin liquid. But in real materials, uh, we will get to there. Uh, of course, we have other interaction terms, Heisenberg, uh, some gamma terms. Uh, then uh, Kitab spin liquid can be determined by these other interactions. So to be specific, uh, let me focus uh, on the isotropic interactions. So JX, JY, JG are same. Uh, and then this model enjoys C3 rotational symmetry. Okay. Uh, for this case, uh, what Kitai found is this. So basically, he showed that Majorana fermions uh, have the Dirac, or linear dispersion relation. So it's gabless. Excitations are gamless. Uh, and Majorana fermions become massive under magnetic field. So mass gap is determined like this. So H is magnetic field, delta is uh, some energy gap, uh, and this is a uh, mass gap uh, of Majorana fermions. And I want to mention that this mass gap is time reversal odd. So which means that if I turn off magnetic field, time reversal symmetry is restored, uh, then it becomes gamless. So this mass gap have a time reversal odd property. And once I have a mass gap, this Majorana fermion basically form bands. And with this band, I can calculate topological invariant. And this topological invariant is determined by this, the sign of this mass gap, basically. And because of that, this new topological invariant is time reversal odd. And this topological invariant can be also measurable in the experiment. They are related uh, to the summer conductivity. And this is the formula at low temperature. And this is so-called Majorana quantization. Okay. So that's what Kitab uh, found. Uh, some vector, uh, right, <laughs> with some units. Okay. Right, but 
But you equal one means that uh, it's not electron, so it's Mara. So basically, it's that simple. Okay, so this theory uh, is very ideally, uh, idealistic, uh, but uh, uh, some experimentalists uh, found very good candidate material, alpha lucidum trichloride uh, in quantum magnets, and these are uh, experiment. And I will not, exper uh, not explain about these experiments. If you're interested, I can tell you after this talk. Uh, but probably one of the most important experiments uh, with this uh, material is this. Uh, uh, the summer conductivity experiment. Uh, and the, they, they measure summer hole effect, uh, uh, lowering temperature. Uh, and as you can see, important thing is this one half. This one half. Uh, so this is summer hole conductivity, lowering temperature, uh, and with, in some region uh, here with a magnetic field, so this is the applied magnetic field, uh, and then this material shows kind of uh, half quantization, Majorana quantization. So then uh, lots of people uh, got more interested in uh, this material. Uh, but I should mention that uh, this sum of conductivity experiment is very difficult. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure lots of it, uh, people here uh, are experts on this sum of conductivity. Uh, and there are lots of controversial controversi uh, issues uh, about this sum of conductivity experiment. Uh, so uh, right now, okay, so the, the, there was a one nice review article uh, about this experiment and other experiment. So uh, if you're interested in this, uh, I recommend you to read this uh, article. It's very short. It's uh, one page. Uh, so uh, it's about spinnacle evidence at the edge and the link uh, in Burke. Uh, the conclusion of this article is that uh, so uh, we so you know some experimental groups cannot uh, see this Marana quantization. Uh, so then there are also fighting basically uh, between experimental groups uh, and uh, and luckily or <laughs> luckily one group basically reproduced this data uh, from Max Planck uh, and uh, so this paper is about that uh, story. Okay, uh, so this paper is basically introduced these two papers. Okay, Anything? question? No. Okay, so that's the uh, review and issues of quantum spin liquid research. So then uh, I'll uh, mention my stra strategy, I'll explain my strategy uh, and result, uh, how to identify uh, type spin liquid in real materials. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, there are lots of experiments. And these experiments basically provide us uh, interesting phase diagram. Uh, and if you look at this phase diagram, we can see some common features. So, uh, so at, at low magnetic field, so there is a magnetically ordered phase, zigzag ordered phase. And high magnetic field, uh, some paramagnetic phase appear. And some papers or some works basically suggest intermediate phase. Uh, some paper uh, do not, or, do not, uh, or, or uh, some, paper, okay. some papers uh, do not like this. <laughs> some people do not like this phase. So they just throw like this. So uh, okay, not this one. So this is a quantum spin liquid. Uh, but yeah, so uh, so then we can uh, so as a theorist, uh, I can make a schematic phase diagram. So uh, so the uh, with the magnetic field or some other parameters. In uh, one side, I can put zigzag magnetically ordered phase, uh, and the other side, I can put some fully polarized <coughs> ferromagnetic phase. And issue is that whether there is uh, this Kitab quantum spin liquid exist or not. Okay? Uh, if it, it exists, then what it means is that this zigzag order and fully polarized ferromagnet, they are supposed to be trivial. And you can kind of prove this. Uh, uh, these two phases are trivial. But uh, as Kitab showed, this Kitab quantum spin liquid is topologically non-trivial. Okay. So then if, then, if this Kitab spin liquid exists, uh, what we can see is that there must be 
topological phase tension. Uh, okay, so one phase is so one the, the middle intermediate phase is a topological. Uh, the other one is trivial. So the, we at least we have a true topological phase tension. And then uh, because of this topological phase tension, uh, some characteristic summer signature must appear. So now, uh, uh, and people have studied these summer signatures uh, for a while, and we want to further use this topological quantum phase tension uh, to identify uh, k-type quantum spin liquids. So then the fact is that this topological quantum phase, quantum phase tensions are characterized by topological invariant, and this topological invariant is related to sum of whole conductivity. And the last part is important. Sum of whole conductivity is a measurable quantity, which means that uh, we can classify this sum of whole conductivity with the uh, lattice symmetry of the system. So basically, our strategy is that use uh, symmetry properties of this topological invariant. Then, uh, so this is a hexagonal lattice, uh, and like I said, uh, I'm going to consider the isotropic uh, exchange interaction point. So Jx, Jy, Jg are there, uh, and since because of that, I have a C3 rotational symmetry. And then I'm going to apply magnetic field uh, to this system, and these magnetic field directions are basically uh, determined by two angles, theta and phi. So phi is for the uh, in-plane magnetic field, uh, and they can be characterized naturally uh, like this. The important part uh, is that kappa xy, summer conductivity, and nu, uh, and also uh, mass function of Majorana fermion, if it is a k-type spin liquid, they are uh, a2 representation, sorry, there's no S. A2 representation ah, yes, of the three group and time reversal R. So this is important. So previously, I just emphasized time reversal symmetry properties. But since this system has a lattice symmetry, uh, D3, we, we can further uh, consider this D3 symmetry group properties. And these three quantities are all in uh, one representation, this is so-called A2 representation. And because of that, uh, these three quantities are basically related to each other. Then, topological quantum phase tension can be uh, studied by varying with magnetic field angles. Uh, and if I draw uh, this mass function, uh, in this plane. So this is uh, uh, angle phi, angle theta, uh, and this is the control plot. Uh, and as you can see, we have a nice result. And nu equal plus means that sign, so the, the red, red regions are basically sine plus, and uh, blue region is sine uh, minus sine. And if we apply magnetic field along the in-plane, then we are basically here. And if I consider this region, uh, I can have a phase tension from nu equal minus one to nu equal plus one. So there must be quantum phase tension between nu equal plus one to nu equal minus one. Okay. So now we are gonna propose that we can use this property uh, to identify type quantum spin liquid. Okay, so, but in real materials, we know uh, real materials are not described by uh, k-type spin, uh, k-type Hamiltonian. So real material, for example, alpha and tachyl, they are not described by this k-type spin model. So we must consider a uh, generic spin model. Uh, and this generic spin model is no known to be JK gamma gamma prime. This K is for the k-type spin liquid Hamiltonian term. Uh, and you can see Heisenberg term, gamma term, some other gamma prime term. Uh, so if alpha Lucent tricrite is a really 
type spin liquid, then this they must be uh, described by this, uh, and uh, we can basically uh, investigate the consequence of this uh, uh, Hamiltonian uh, uh, with this magnetic field angle dependence. So we, with this Hamiltonian, uh, so yeah, with this Hamiltonian, basically uh, we want to propose that uh, if it is a Kitab spin liquid, there must be some special properties. Uh, and uh, these special properties can be used to identify uh, Kitab spin liquid. And that's nothing but uh, the symmetric properties of topological invariant. So uh, this topology, uh, symmetric properties uh, uh, give us quite non-trivial result. Uh, and to illustrate that, uh, maybe we can consider a very simple example. So uh, if I consider magnetic field and under the time reversal symmetry, this magnetic field uh, flipped the sign, basically. So time reversal symmetry basically flipped the sign. And then theta goes to pi minus theta, obviously. And phi goes to pi plus phi. And then topological invariant must be change, must change the sign because the topological invariant is a time reversal odd. Uh, then what it means is that uh, in, if it is a type quantum spin liquid, there must be some critical lines on this theta and phi plane, uh, okay? Like I showed before, so the previous figure I showed you uh, is for the pure type model, but even if we include this, even if we consider this generic spin Hamiltonian, if this generic spin Hamiltonian realize type spin liquid, uh, we can have this non-trivial result. So in uh, magnetic field plane, theta and phi plane, there must be some critical lines. And then uh, with this result, we can basically do uh, some quantum mechanics uh, with this quantum Hamiltonian. So we can do perturbative calculation, uh, and also we can do some exact diagonalization calculation, uh, numerical calculation uh, with 24 site. Uh, and this is our result. So uh, the previous figure I showed you is basically similar to this case one. Uh, case two, case three, case four is basically we change uh, the parameters j, k, gamma, gamma prime properly. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see, there are uh, critical, so these dashed lines are basically critical lines. And these critical lines uh, changes a lot uh, for different cases. And these four cases are known to be, uh, is, they, they are known to uh, realize key type spin liquid. So uh, as you can see, the, the presence of lines are universal, basically, like I showed you before. So in this argument, uh, this, the, the existence of critical lines are universal, but their forms are basically not universal, which means that they, uh, they depend uh, on the parameters of my Hamiltonian. So which means that if I can measure this shape of the lines, then uh, we can guess uh, the importance of other interaction terms. So for example, so this is a pure type spin liquid, and we add high, uh, Heisenberg interaction term here. But uh, as you can see, adding Heisenberg interaction basically does not change much. Uh, but for this case, we include gamma uh, little, and then you can see the, the, the change uh, of these critical lines a lot. So uh, we, what we are proposing is that uh, by measuring these critical lines with uh, bearing with the magnetic angle dependence, magnetic angles, uh, basically we can determine uh, some. Uh, uh, we, we can determine which parameters are significant uh, in real materials. So then, uh, since this is about mass gap, and mass gap can be measured uh, by specific heat experiment. Uh, so we basically propose specific heat experiment uh, by changing magnetic angles. And of course, uh, any quantities, any thermodynamic quantities basically determined by uh, density of state of Majorana fermion. So uh, my substitutivity would behave similarly. Uh, and lastly, uh, maybe uh, this Tokyo group, universal Tokyo group, basically they measure specific heat uh, uh, experiment. And uh, so this region is supposed to be a, a type spin liquid. Uh, and as you can see, 
there are some specific uh, special features, uh, nice six, uh, three-fold uh, uh, rotational symmetry features, and this is consistent uh, with our proposal, uh, and uh, so we basically claim this is a one plausible evidence of the existence uh, of Kitab spin liquid in these materials. Okay, so then uh, here is my conclusion. So Kitab form spin liquid is, uh, uh, its ground state is one of the most entangled state. Uh, then maybe we, so and, but identification of such a state is very difficult because they are highly entangled and uh, but we can use, since it has very special properties, we can use this topological uh, properties uh, further, uh, and we propose this field angle dependence may identify uh, the, pre, uh, the existence of Kitab Kono Spin uh, Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, let me use the opportunity first to, to ask a small clarification question. So the transition is always the second order? Which, uh, you mean ex experiment or theory? In the theory. In the theory, yes. Uh, so so you mean you, you expect no hysteresis or, or anything? No, uh, in, in theory, of course. In experiment, zigzag order phase transition is the first order. Okay. Well. You started by saying that you would like to increase the number of qubits. Right. How, how is it related to the other part of the talk that was very beautiful? Uh, so, uh, right, so it's, it's kind of, in, in a sense, natural uh, in real materials. So in real materials, I have a hexagonal lattice. And then I have a spin. And this spin has, uh, at each side, I have two state. So I can treat them as a qubit, basically. So then, I can do it also in a ferromagnet. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but uh, as you know, ferromagnet state uh, is just product state. Uh, the entanglement of ferromagnet state is very s small. So, but in this case, Kita spin is a very. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay, other questions? <laughs> Experimental oh, world, oh, yeah. uh, the half, the half, yeah. A uh, half. The one that is controversial. Why they are controversial? Uh, no, no, no. I, I didn't say. I say. I want to say why. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I think that the reason for the controversy is uh, it, it's an insulating device. Yes. The phonons are the one that carry most of the heat from one side to another. Kappa X X is a thousand times bigger than Kappa X Y. So how can you believe in kappa x y? Yeah, yeah. I know you are an expert on this. No, I'm not an expert. This one, I'm zero expert. <laughs> so uh, when I prepare this talk, okay. Uh, so since I'm Israel, uh, maybe I should be careful <laughs> to say yeah. something about summer conductivity. No, no. Uh, you just presented the wall. I'm not blaming you. Uh, and I, yeah. Uh, I know Weizmann uh, Institute. Uh, there are some nice experiments about fraction of uh similar Marana Fermi's. Uh, Experiment. But uh, yeah, you're right. So that's the reason uh, why is one of the controversial. Uh, so why some people do not believe this experiment. Uh, but uh, uh, you're you're right. So they measure only up to three Kelvin. Uh, and if they measure at lower temperature, it blows up. It goes uh, it goes down. Sorry, it goes down. Uh, uh, and uh, right uh, and. Even some other groups, they do not see any feature like this plateau. So okay, they claim this is a plateau. <laughs> uh, uh, but some other groups, uh, they claim there is no plateaus. Uh, but luckily, like I said before, uh, this group, uh, Max Planck group, uh, they kind of reproduce the data, uh, and that's the reason why uh, people still hope <laughs> the existence of guitar monospin equity in this material. Uh, but uh, uh, personally, uh, I believe that there is uh, some possibility to realize guitar spin equity in this material because of some other experiment, uh, including, including this specific uh, experiment. I'm the one of your answers, so I should be. <laughs> <laughs>
so with respect to the result of uh, where you're rotating this in-plane magnetic field, yeah, the the experimental result. So you said it's consistent with the Kitaev spin liquid, right. but uh, I guess it would also be consistent with many other things because you, you just this the material has a hexagonal or a six-fold symmetry, right? Right, right. So, right. so what what else would be right. has has to be it's, ruled out to begin with? Very good point. Uh, yes, uh, this system has uh, uh, this three-fold rotation symmetry. Uh, or hexagonal symmetry in terms of lattice. Uh, so, uh, so I don't have data here, but uh, as you can see, uh, in this notation, zero, the signal is weak, and 30 degree signal is big uh, at high field. So we call this the high field region. But if I look at the low field region, it's like a one tesla, two tesla, the maximum minimum position switch. So then it means that we do not have Kitab. Uh, so at low field, certainly it's not uh, Kitab spin liquid, it's a zigzag order. And then what we can conclude uh, is that the, this region, something different is happening. Furthermore, if you look at this specific heat data, uh, this B direction, you can see linear like behavior. Uh, a direction is, a, so this is the B direction, this is the A direction basically. So this is specific heat over T basically. So it means that this is a, a basically captures massless excitation. So T linear. And this is the phonon part. Uh, and, right. So that's the, so if I have a other scenario, like a fully polarized cases, uh, can never close. Uh, with uh, uh, by changing the magnetic field different uh, directions, so that's the reason why uh, this is the one signature uh, of Kitab spin liquid. So gap closing is very special. So that's this is the one uh, important result. Then you can ask uh, what happens at lower temperature. Uh, they are measuring uh, lower temperature data also. Sorry. What's the definition of the quantum spin liquid? Ah, that's a very difficult question. So, the, so <laughs> at least uh, I can give, so we know Kitab spin liquid, so Kitab spin model on the hexagonal lattice, uh, that's uh, the realized Kitab, uh, sp uh, that's a uh, quantum spin liquid. That's not the definition, that's the example, I know. Uh, lots of people try to define quantum spin liquid, uh, then uh, some other people uh, invent uh, some loopholes of the definitions. Uh, so, uh, current uh, or uh, common wisdom or common consensus uh, about the definition of Kitab spin equation is that uh, it's a massively entangled state. And so, which means that uh, it. Uh, <laughs> I, I <don't> <laughs> uh, which ha contains uh, excitations. Are not described by spin waves. So spin waves, so it's, it's yeah, spin waves is a basically entanglement is weak. Uh, so the so the excitations are not described by spin waves. So it's a negative definition. Similar to the non fermi liquid, basically. Thank you. Okay. If there are no further questions, then uh, let's thank uh, the speakers again. Thank you.